Chicago City Council members are preparing for a contentious meeting this week as the mayor squares off with supporters of ShotSpotter and drops his bid to install a key ally as the chair of a powerful committee. WGN political reporter Tamon Bradley live at City Hall with the latest on all of that. Tamon. Ray and Micah, good evening. In just six days, uh, ShotSpotter is set to go dark, but a group of alders keep maneuvering, trying to somehow override Mayor Johnson. Today, a shift in strategy by city council alders who want to save ShotSpotter. Alderman Raymond Lopez filed this paperwork calling for a special city council meeting to be held after Wednesday's regular meeting. Lopez wants the council to override Mayor Brandon Johnson's decision to cancel the city's contract with Sound Thinking, the company behind ShotSpotter. The city council has already given him an order to continue this technology in the wards that want it. Like every other order that this body gives him, he has to follow it. And he's willingly choosing to disregard the will of the body. He is the chief executive. He has to execute the will of the city council. And we are at a point now where we're going to see which one of us is correct. Last February, Mayor Johnson extended use of the gunfire detection software through last month's DNC, but set a September 22nd date for the system to be turned off. Insisting he won't reverse course, Mayor Johnson slammed the technology. $100 million for a walkie-talkie on a pole. And the reason why they said we needed it was to reduce gun violence. It didn't do that. So, you know, it's incumbent upon all of us to make sure that the investments that we're making, they have to get at the problem. The mayor also says the shot spotter debate is being framed by corporate interests. Do you know how many other cities have rejected it? Take a look at Houston. The mayor of Houston, who is a so-called, people say he's tough on crime. You know what he referred to ShotSpotter as? He called it a gimmick. The mayor is adamant that the council cannot overrule him, setting him on a collision course with the Alders. We're going to tune in Wednesday and see exactly what happens. One other important note here today from the Rules Committee. Alderman Walter Burnett is one step closer to becoming chair of the powerful zoning committee. Mayor Johnson wanted Alderman Byron Cicho Lopez to take over that committee, but there just weren't enough votes for the Democratic Socialist. Live tonight from City Hall, Tamon Bradley, WGN News. Okay, Tamon, thanks.